good morning vlog. Thank you for coming back to my channel today. I feel like my camera looks a little dusty. Okay, so good morning. I am about to go for a walk and I wanted to vlog today. So I'm back home today. I was just traveling to see my family for the holidays and I got home last night and once I got home, I really felt like I just wanted to reset everything and clean everything and get into a new routine. And like, I, I don't know if you guys even follow me everywhere else, but I deleted like every single social media app off my phone for like the past week and a half or two weeks. And it was so needed. I had been feeling like I was really lacking creativity for the past few months. So I was like, I'm just gonna do something drastic and just delete all social media off my phone um, and see if that helps. And that did help a lot, it helped so much. And then also seeing family always helps refresh me and fulfill me up. So after getting home yesterday, I was like, I wanna start vlogging again, I wanna start TikToking, making reels and sharing my life again. So that feels really good to be back in this headspace and feel creative again. Um, but yeah, so in today's vlog, it's day one. I really wanna start, you know, getting into a routine. I've went through a few different phases of routines here in Miami and they have just always kind of changed. Um, but trial and error is always a good thing, right? So yeah, I feel like I have some good like additions that I like in my routine that I like to add to my routine. Um, but now it's just about being consistent with it. So, um, you know, that includes everything from like what time I wake up and like the first things I do in the morning, my morning routine, that also includes like a workflow and a night routine and, and everything and self care and, you know, taking care of our home and all, all that stuff. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to take you all along for the journey. So today, I just really want to share getting back into my routine. So you saw this morning, it started with making the bed, make the bed every day, of course, um, drinking that little green drink that I like to drink. I just mix it with some water, you guys saw, and then filling up my water, and then I'm gonna head out for a walk. I did already take the dogs out for a short little walk, but I want to have a walk that's just for me. So I want to decide, and of course this could change, but I want to decide if ideally I would like to do my walks in the morning. Um, it's just so like nice out here right now in the mornings and the nighttime, it's not as hot. So morning and night walks are really working for me. Um, but yeah, I just wanna take y'all along on this little journey of getting into a routine. I feel like routine is something that I don't typically have. I'm not a very structured person, but I feel like for the goals that I have and just the person that I wanna be and the way that I wanna feel, structure, is gonna be my best friend. So I wanna embrace it a little bit more this year. So anyways, I gotta um, get my shoes on. But we're just gonna go for a little walk together. I thought I'd bring y'all. It's a beautiful day here in Miami. And I thought I'd show y'all my outfit and just everything, just get back to me. I also need to put on some lip balm. The weather was like so cold here for South Florida the past week or so. So it's been really dry. Like my hair got staticky, like it just got really dry here. So. I really need some lip balm. This is my favorite lip balm. This is my second tube of it. Actually, this is my third tube of it, I just realized. Um, this is Summer Fridays. This one is just the vanilla, it's clear. But when I have makeup on, I wear the Summer Fridays in vanilla beige, and it has a little bit of like a nudish color. It looks really pretty as a gloss or pretty with some lip liner. But anyways, and I'm just gonna put my hair in this little claw clip once I get going. I'm just gonna clip it onto my bag. Oh, and then my bag, you guys have seen this before, but I always um, wear this All Nighter Festival bag from Lululemon. I have some different reviews on it in different vlogs, but I absolutely love it. I've had it for like a year now. Oh no, more than a year. Oh no, a, a year, I got it in March. And I love it. All right, this is my walk outfit. Brett and I were just saying we both need to get a little tan. We feel so like, pale from not seeing sun the last few weeks. Um, this actually is from Amazon. This top is from Amazon. It's a Lulu dupe. Let me see. Take this off. It's a Lulu dupe and it has like this ribbed, can you tell it's like a ribbed material. It's a v-neck back here, but in the back it's a high neck. So it's like you can wear it, it's reversible. You can wear this in the back, but I like to wear this in the front. And it's just a little crop. It has like a wide band right here. It's not lined or anything, but I feel like it's not see-through, so I just wear it all the time. These leggings are from Fabletics. I forget what they're called. 
I forget what they're called, but I've had them for years. And then these are my favorite um, shoes. I've had these for a long time as well. They're a little dirty, but they're the Adidas Ultra Boost. I had them in white for a long time and wore them like for years and then needed a new pair. So I got these gray ones this year, which I like a little bit better because they can get dirtier. Like white just gets dirty so fast. And then all my jewelry, of course, is always just a ton of Miranda Fry. There's this really nice park that sometimes we like to come to. It's little, just a few blocks, but it looks just like the jungle in Tulum and it's so beautiful and peaceful and like right over there is the city. So sometimes we like to come in here. I usually don't come in here alone, obviously, but I just wanted to show you guys. It's so pretty. It just feels like a little taste of Tulum right in the middle of the city, like in the middle of the city, like right there's a road and right there's a road, but it's just so beautiful in here. Like you can see all the like lush greenery, which is just so nice to see because just living in the middle of the city, you just don't see all the green. Like there's palm trees around, but not like this. I think there's even water in here somewhere, maybe this way. Okay, there are so many places to walk, obviously, in, in Miami, but sometimes I like walking through the neighborhoods or just um, on the roads with houses. But look how pretty, like you can see like the tall buildings in the background, but it's just really fun to walk like and see like the pretty houses and things. Um, it ends up being like a really nice walk and it's like away from the road which is safe safer um, than like walking through the city but also it ends up being a really nice walk because you can kind of like visualize and manifest like you know just like these beautiful houses here in Miami I got Brett into drinking matcha. Oh yeah. He's pretty good at making it too. Okay. Yeah. Not as good as you, you're the master. Thank you. This is the kind of matcha we have. It's from Sun Life Organics. There's a Sun Life Organic um, like cafe or whatever, restaurant, um, juice place in Miami Beach. So we go there sometimes. Oh shoot, you just dropped your straw. We go there sometimes for the matcha, but since it's all the way over on Miami Beach, it's a bit of a drive over there. So I just bought the matcha and it's so good. And then I was reading, um, I don't know if I've read it on here or somewhere else, but they say to keep it in the fridge. So we keep it in the fridge, but look how bright green it is. It's like lime green. It's such a good matcha. And then we just lately either make it with like almond milk or just regular milk and a dash of honey and it's so good. I'll make one now and show you guys. So how to make my amazing homemade frothy Miami matcha milk. We just have organic regular milk. The Sun Life Organics matcha, a little bit of honey. And then I love this cup. I got this from Target and it's a glass, like, um, you know, reusable cup from the brand Elo. And it comes with a straw and a lid. So I love this and it's pink, but it's just so cute. So I do like this much water first. And I like my matcha not very strong, so I only do a half a teaspoon of matcha for myself. If I'm making breads, I'll do like a whole teaspoon. this frother from Amazon. It's called Zule. And I'll froth that together. About a half cup or a, between a fourth and a half cup. Froth that together again. For me, the key is a ton of ice. Okay, so last night I just washed my hair and I just let it air dry and it doesn't look 
too horrible but obviously it looks like it needs to be styled so i'm just gonna throw a couple of curls in it so i feel like that might be easier than like doing a whole blowout type of look so i'm just gonna throw a couple of curls in it so it, this looks kind of intentional and i'm using the bioionic curling iron it's like the long barrel curling wand so i'm gonna let that heat up and i'm just gonna put a touch of makeup on I kind of got to get to work doing a couple things, so I'm just going to put a little bit of makeup on. While my curling iron's heating up lately, I've been really liking the IT Cosmetics CC Cream again. This always kind of goes in and out of my makeup bag. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in Light Medium Sand. some foundation, concealer, powder, blush, did my brows, mascara, and some lip. Literally, I've been filming for 11 minutes, so it was just a 10 minute makeup. And then I'm just throwing a curl in my hair. You can see, like I'm literally just holding it on for like five seconds and just, just doing a quick something to feel put together. This is, um, you know, part of this vlog that I wanted to like find a routine. I'm not loving this today, obviously, but, uh, well, I think I look fine, <laughs> I look pretty, but um, I would like to have in my routine a way to like quickly get ready um, for the day, like every day, you know, well, work days at least. Um, like a way, like, I don't know, maybe it's sleeping and heatless curls, maybe it's doing my hair a different way, but I would like to figure out a way where I feel like my hair is, you know, presentable and quickly put some light makeup on yeah so I don't know if this is necessarily the yeah I don't know even products like I um, typically use the say slip tint I wonder if I still have it I think I ran out of it I ran out of the say slip tint it's like a tint and moisturizer but it's really beautiful especially here in South Florida it's just a really nice lightweight glowy kind of like tint moisturizer um and it's beautiful so even like i feel like something like that might be even a little bit better than the cc cream because that cc cream was pretty full coverage so you can't just put on like a full coverage foundation and then do light makeup everywhere else you know what i mean like just i don't know at least on my skin i feel like i want to do light foundation light everywhere or if i'm putting foundation on i want it to be like i'm putting makeup on you know what i mean even just those little things but at least i got ready today and i wanted that to be part of my routine and i still did it so i'm proud of myself but you can see this just looks a little bit more kept than this air dry design okay yeah that feels a little bit better Okay, ready for the day. I'm gonna pack my work bag. So I showed in a recent vlog that for my work bag, let me fix this a little bit. For my work bag, I typically have been using this Lululemon backpack. Um, it has a nice bag or a nice opening right here. There's just some good openings in there, but I really like wearing this backpack, especially if I'm gonna go work at a coffee shop or something. But for Christmas, my mother and father-in-law got me this really nice work bag from Vice, 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 um, B-E-I-S, like Shea Mitchell's like luggage carrier bag brand. Um, and it's so beautiful. It's like the black croc. I'm pretty sure this is called the mini tote. And it has a little bag on the back. I really like this. I haven't used it yet, but I really like it. Um, it also has a long strap, so that's nice if you wanted to like wear it crossbody or just hook it on your arm. 
and then it also comes with an extra little pouch so that's really nice as well also that black crack and there's just a lot of pouches in here and just yeah it's a really nice work bag um, and it's kind of funny because I got this laptop case from Amazon and it's also that black croc. So they go really well together. You see the black croc and black croc or alligator. Isn't that pretty? It's such a pretty bag. Um, since I'm kind of an active wear today, I feel like I should save this bag for when I'm more dressed up. But it's so pretty. I'm gonna wear it, use it all the time. I just, and two, since we don't have much space in here, I just keep my work stuff in my bag. So I'll probably switch things over soon and just keep my work stuff in this bag. Maybe I will do that. Maybe I will do that because like we're talking about, this whole vlog is like new routines, new structure. And there's no better way than well, with a new bag, right? All right, I'm going to switch things over. So glad I did that. I obviously you know, wasn't planning on that, but I'm so glad I did it. It feels so good. And I wanted to show you how, well, let me come out here in the sun. <laughs> Better light it. I wanted to show you what fits in here. It is amazing. Get my tripod all set up. But yeah, I mean, I've used that backpack for quite a few months, maybe like five or six months. Um, I got it shortly after we moved here because I never really work inside our apartment because you know, it's pretty small. Brett just went for a walk, but you guys know that my husband has been dealing with a back injury since before we moved. So, like, that's kind of why I haven't been vlogging too much or even really sharing on social media because it's really slowed us down. Um, and really him, it's just been a really long journey. But basically he has, uh, what's it called? Like a, it's not a herniated disc, maybe it's called a ruptured disc, but one of his discs in his lower back, like in his spine, is out and tucked down. So it's like going like this. So it's hitting his nerve. So he's had really bad nerve pain since we moved. So it's been like seven months of trying everything we can and he's done different injections, done different um, therapies for it and it tried everything. And um, we actually have a consultation with a surgeon here in Miami next week. Or actually, yeah, next week, next Thursday. I was like, oh my gosh, is it today? No, next Thursday. Um, so potentially he'll be getting back surgery next month or so. But this whole time we've been living here, he can't sit up or stand for longer than 10, 20 minutes without being in like excruciating pain. Um, so that's been really hard, obviously, on both of us moving here and, and everything. And I know you guys already know this. I've talked about it on my podcast and on my Instagram and stuff. And mentioned it here and there but that's basically what's been going on so um i just didn't i couldn't find a routine where it worked for me to film in here or work in here or, or really not do much in here because first of all it's small it's so much smaller than our house right it's this is it <laughs> we got our door and everything is kind of in this room so and then with brett laying down and he has to lay down um with brett laying down in here all day and him working in here like there's just not much room um but thankfully we have like a big co-work area in our building so i go in there often so anyways i bought that backpack because i'm always in and out with my work stuff but now this is going to be so fun and obviously i'll keep you guys updated on brett's back surgery and everything like that but we would love um, if any of y'all or your husbands have ever dealt with um, lower back injuries, it, his disc is the L5-S1 disc. And yeah, I think it's called ruptured or herniated or something like that. But basically the surgery he would do is a disc replacement. And we found a surgeon here in Miami that we really like and trust and we have a meeting with him next week. So I'll keep you guys updated on that journey, but that's what's been going on. But I wanted to show you guys what is going in my new work bag thank you to my mother-in-law and father-in-law they don't watch my vlogs but i know um they would love to see me using it so i'll just send them a picture okay so i literally just showed this in a different vlog what's in my work bag but now that i have a new work bag i'll show you again so i could zip it but it just fits so perfectly so i don't have anything in this this one yet i don't have anything in this one yet and then over here there's a little compartment you could slide a little water bottle in there or your phone whatever this would also be a good carry-on, I think. 
um, just to make sure you can close it. But anyways, so opening up, it comes, like I said, with this little pouch in here. So let's do that first. Oh, also there's feet on it. I love a bag with feet. So it's not sitting on the floor, sitting on the table, like just the feet are, I love that. And also helps give it structure. But this is the little bag that comes inside. Right there it says that. Is it base or is it bice? Every time, if I say bice, I think of bow bice. Do you guys remember bow bice from American Idol like 20 years ago? <laughs> Sometimes we call bow, my dog bow bice, it's so funny. Okay, so in this bag, I just have my like tech, tech stuff. So I have my little, this is just from Amazon, but it holds um, memory cards. I need to get a few more, but I usually just have these four and the, the one I'm filming on. But this is a nice little case for memory cards. I have headphones and pens. Also, I'm a pen junkie, like I love pens, and I found the best ones are Sharpie. Typically Sharpie. Any Sharpie pen, I also like the Sharpie, like, um, wait, these are Papermate. The Papermate felt tip pen, I really like those. I also have these, these are Sharpie, the S Gel 0.7, the white ones. These are the best pens. I send these pens out anytime I have a coaching client um, in Roots, at the retreat, I always give my clients these pens because I love them. <laughs> They're my favorite. Um, I have my noise canceling headphones. These are from Skull Candy. I also got these from Amazon and they're super noise canceling. I think these are a really great um, uh, dupe or replacement for the Apple, uh, what are they called? Like the Apple noise canceling headphones like this. These were a quarter of the price. I think they were still, it's still an investment, like over a hundred dollars, like maybe 150-ish, but that was worth it to me and, and I've worn them so much and they are so worth it. Um, but I don't know if I could pay like 600 for the Apple ones. Um, but these ones are from Amazon, Skull Candy, and I really like them. And then I just have my um, laptop charger in here. So this is a great little catch-all um, pouch to have in here. And it's such a good size. I almost want to order another one of these pouches just to use. It's kind of loud. I hope you guys can hear me okay. <laughs> just to use for a makeup bag and stuff. It's such a nice size pouch. Okay. And then I also have in here just my notebook I'm using currently. I always like to just get a fresh notebook. I go through them so fast because I write stuff down all day, every day. This one is just from Home Goods. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have my notebook in here. And then my iPad. Uh, my husband got me an iPad for my birthday, so just in December. It's still December, isn't it? <laughs> a couple weeks ago, he got me this, so this is really nice. And then um, I got this case just from Target. The brand is Heyday, H-E-Y-D-A-Y. -Y. Um, and yeah, it's really cute. So it's nice, you can just slide it in here. And then, so that's those. And then there's also a little spot to slide in pens. So I slid a pen in there, there's two other spots too. And then right here is a spot to Velcro in your laptop. So I slid my laptop in there and you can just Velcro it in so it won't slide out. That is so cool. So yeah, this is my work bag. I'm gonna take my matcha and my water that I have not drinking enough of today yet. I filled this up this morning and still haven't even made a dent. But I definitely think this is, I'm going on a tangent here, this is one of my favorite purchases of this year. Um, I ordered this when we got here to Miami, I think. Yeah, best purchase ever. Because it's, it is so much easier to drink water here because you're just hot more, so you just are thirsty more, you know? Um, but I drink two of these every single day. Like, nothing's, nothing comes between me and drinking this water bottle. Or at least I try. Maybe some days I don't get the full two, but I try to drink two and then it's a gallon. It's a half gallon water bottle, but it's so much easier to drink water here, especially when you have a big water bottle. All right, I gotta go work. I gotta stop. Well, I gotta work and I have a call at three o'clock. Oh, I forgot to put this back in here. I have a call at three. I kind of on the side a little bit do some like social media consulting where um, if you know, someone comes to me and like wants to start posting on social media, I kind of help walk them through like how to get started, what to post about, stuff like that. So I had just a call with um, someone I really admire about that today. So that'll be really nice to talk to her and just kind of go through some things that she can post about. 
Um, but yeah, I just wanna work on that a little bit, get a couple things done, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit, but I gotta go work. Okay, it's middle of the afternoon now. I had lunch and chilled for a little bit, but I'm gonna go to the gym now. That's something I want to be part of my routine. And I don't know like where in the day it will best fit for me, but at least I'm going today, even though it is afternoon, but I'm hope it's before five, so I'm hoping it won't be too busy in there. But let's go. Back from my workout and the sun is setting. It's so beautiful. Look at it. Okay, it's 6.30. And we're making dinner. I'm making a burger bowl, it's kinda loud. But I got some green beans cooking right here. And I just like to like char <laughs> the green beans. I think they're better when they're crispy. We had three burgers left, so I'm making those. And then we have some potatoes in the air fryer. So I'm gonna make mine into a bowl with like um, spinach or whatever type of greens we have, put the green beans, cut up the um, burger, put some tomatoes on there, and just make it into a bowl. It sounds really good. Um, but I had a great day today, like doing like, getting into my routine like I wanted to. In this day, in this video, I definitely am proud of myself for just doing the things even if it wasn't at the specific times I had planned out ideally, but I still did it. So I'm really proud of myself. Um, I would love to hear what you guys want to have in your routine in the new year. And um, I have a new year download, a free download that you guys can um, just put your email in. I'll put the link in my description box and then you'll get it emailed to you. The 2023 new year download and it helps you um, reflect on the last year and plan goals for the new year and dream in the new year. And it'll be really fun um, to share all of yours um, with me. So if you download that, fill it out, post it on Instagram and tag me so I can see it and celebrate you. And yeah, I can't wait to see y'all fill it out. So I'm just gonna make that bowl and then have to have my walk, get ready for bed and stuff. But thank you guys for watching today's vlog and starting a new routine with me, starting the new year together. I'm so excited for all the content and programs and coaching and everything coming to all my content channels this year. So. Stay tuned and I'm so thankful for y'all for watching today's vlog. Bye!